Ah, Ghost. Connick, good to see you two. Have a seat. Um, yes, sir. Um, what is this all about? Yes, sir. You call this in for some important. Yes. As you know, the uh, incident that happened with your recruits I said it's uh, your newest recruit put them in the hospital and the other ones quit. I think you guys need some extra hands. Um, uh, extra hands, sir? Pardon my intrusion, sir, of not going over your authority, but I don't think we need any extra hands. I think we're pretty stacked up as it is. You say that. However, I got this new recruit. Well, I don't know if he's new, but he has quite the impressive rap sheet. So I think he should be good in your ranks. I'm I'm sorry. He? And do we know this person? Well, actually, I don't really know. I mean, he should be walking in any... Ah, there you are. Come on in. Well, well, well. If it isn't my two old comrades, no fucking way. Victor, you, you're still alive? Yes, no thanks to you two. How have you been, Koenig? Not well, since I'm seeing your stupid ass face again. Oh, Koenig, I'm hurt. It's been so long since you did this to my fucking face, you asshole. Well, I guess God's been answering my prayers. Because I've been itching to put you down again. Easy, ghost. Oh, how cute. I haven't seen that too much anger in your eyes since the last time you tried popping me with holes. <laughs> how cute you still think that you can frighten me. <laughs> with that cute little skull mask. Fuck you. Mm. Touchy subject when it comes to the mask, huh? But save your communistic breath. Why the fuck are you here anyway? Well, it's funny that you ask that, Koenig. I, Victor Korotnyov, in the newest recruit to your ranks. No, no fucking way. And no goddamn way that I'm sharing barracks with this red commie bastard. Easy, ghost. Relax. We can't let him get in our heads. Oh, that's right. Listen to your little butt buddy. <laughs> You guys are so cute. Come here. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. You really think you're going to hurt me? <clears throat> Fuck you. You really think that we're going to let you just come in here, waltz all over the place, and you think we're not going to fucking kill you again? Matter of fact, fuck it. I'll do it right now. <laughs> Little rabbit. C Commander, what? what are you doing here? What? You came to see your... Your brother? Oh no. Are oh, you telling me? But this son of a bitch right here is your brother. Yes, that's right. She is my sister. Actually, that also begs the question. How the fuck do you two know my sister? <laughs> that's actually quite simple, really. Actually, it's a very good sexual reason on how we know your sister. We've, We've been, been fucking, fucking her. You, you two have been fucking my sister. <laughs> That's really funny. Like I would ever believe that she would ever do that with you two miscreants. Oh yeah, you better believe it. I was the first. And Koenig, well, he was second right behind. And then it turned into a big, old, fun night. My, my sister, did you first, ghost? Koenig, you can't be serious. Oh yeah, we're dead serious. And it was actually very fun. You know, before she put a fucking bullet in me. <laughs> she really enjoyed both of us at the same time. Then we took turns. <laughs> well, I know one thing shall be certain, comrades. Oh, yeah? It was that comrade. <laughs> yes, friend. Enlighten us. 
I will be certain that your lives shall be a living hell. You may not know when it is coming, but it is coming. Whether you guys know it or not, <laughs> well, I know one thing. Your sister was coming more than once. <laughs> You said that one more time. I fucking dare you. Do it. I swear. I'll kill you right now. That's it. You three, stand at attention right now. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Uh, now, I don't give a fuck what's going on between you three. You guys can hate each other and you guys can love each other. But there shall be no bloodshed on my base. Do you guys understand me? I said, do you three understand? <laughs> Or I swear to God, I will bust a cap in all of your asses. Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Now you two are dismissed. I need to talk to Victor and his sister alone. Now you two. At ease. It, yes, yes, sir. Now, have a seat, Victor. And uh, I never got your name. Her name is Natasha. Ah. For all this time, I thought it was Little Rabbit. That's all right. You have a shit as well. I don't like this, Koenig. What do you think they're talking about? I don't know. But one thing's for certain. The general was really pissed. I guess we should do what he says and just head back. Yeah, you're right. But I don't like the feeling of her being in alone with her, with her brother. Since we tried to kill the bastard like a few years back. I'm sure everything will be fine, Ghost. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Now she's strong as hell to take on both of us, so... Of course. So, sir, what is this about? It's about you two. Try not to disturb my best people on this job. You guys have tried your best. I've seen everything you guys can do. I have files on both of you, dating back to when you guys were recruited and... I think you guys were on the KGB, should you guys are Russian. But let's not stand on ceremony here. I need you two to work together with Karnik and Ghost. Those are my best people, and I do not want anyone causing any problems on my base. Do you understand me? Y yes, sir. At ease, you two are dismissed. Now, go to your barracks. Ah, you two are still here. That's so cute. You were waiting for me. We weren't waiting for you, you bastard. We were waiting for Little Rabbit. Just to be clear, Victor, we don't trust you. And we will be keeping an eye on you. If you try any bullshit with us, you know exactly what will happen. Of course, there will be no bloodshed. I promise you that. And I made it promise to the general as well. One false move, Victor, and I'll put you down. Now, now, Ghost. I can't let you have all the fun. Ah, so this is where your barracks are. I have to say, very nice in some ways or another, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, keep walking, princess. It's not that serious. It's just a barrack. It's not a royal palace like you. <laughs> oh, how cute. You called me a palace. That wasn't a compliment, asshole. And I'm <laughs> All right. The first shot was free. The next one, you'll have to earn it, comrade. The only shots anybody was taking was your sister with her back shots. Ghost. Ghost. Enough already. I understand that you and my sister have it. A relationship, even though I spit at that. But you need to refrain from making these type of jokes around my sister and about my sister, for I am her brother and I will kill you if you keep talking like that about her. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. <sighs> it's just one of those days, I guess, where you gotta move in with your worst enemy. I mean, Cornick was an enemy. But you remember the time me and him almost killed you? The only thing I remember is a drunken British man trying to kill me. 
What made it even worse is that you missed several of my vital arteries. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted you to suffer. You know, I didn't want you to die so quickly. I like it slow and painful for the person. Oh, really? <laughs> slow and painful. You're the type of person that doesn't like to think head first. You mostly think with your dick anyway. Ah, come on, I don't always think with my cock and balls. I mean, might be, but, you know. <laughs> hmm. What? Why are you giving me that look, ghost? Well, it's quite simple, really. I don't really trust you. And neither does Cornick. So what's your game plan? What's your end game here? Yeah, it's a little strange to just have you pop up on the base. And whatever happened to the messenger that was sent to you? Yeah, that actually reminds me. What the hell did happen to Arnold? He was supposed to be back by now. It's been over a week. Oh, he was a part of your uh, your unit. Oh, well, I believe I killed him. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you killed Arnold. You, you don't just... Motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking pluck you right there. Right in the abdomen. Maybe this time I won't miss any arteries. Easy, ghost. Relax. Pretty sure he thought he was under attack or something. Even though Arnold would never hurt a damn soul unless it was the enemy. I mean, he didn't go out too badly. Except like a little bitch. That's it. I'm gonna fucking murder you. And this time I won't leave a blade mark on your face. Oh, really? You're really going to do it this time? Even with her standing in the doorway? What? Hmm. Commander. Ah, oh, bollocks. <sighs> Another time, then. Ah, little sister. It is good to see you again. Do not mind us. We're just settling in. Isn't that right, fellas? <laughs> yes. Oi, get a rabbit. Can I talk with you outside for a moment? All right, you two have fun. And don't get lost on the way back, ghost. Shut the fuck up, Victor. I don't trust you. I don't like you. I don't even want you anywhere near our barracks. And for once in my life, I was finally finding a moment of peace until you came back. Now, if you don't shut the fuck up and keep your head down and do as I say, I will personally put you in the goddamn ground this time and double tap just for good measure. It's so cute how you think you have the upper hand to come ahead, but you're dying one step ahead of you every time. All right, so little rabbit, and I got a moment alone with you. I just got one question. Do you really think we're not going to know what you're planning, Victor? It's not that hard. Hell, we tried to kill you in the past and we didn't succeed. So what's your end game? There is no end game, Koenig. I'm just simply here to help you with the mission, is all. And maybe cause a little bit of chaos. For instance, let's just say that my sister wasn't my sister. Why do you think she was sent here in the first place? That doesn't make sense. The fact that you didn't tell us that he was your brother. He could have just said something, anything. By the time me and Connick were already inside you, you could have just told us that you had a brother. It's not that complex. It's not that hard. Think about it. I've got a sister. Do I talk about her? Not really. But still. <laughs> you could have told us something. The fact that you think I will tell you anything is completely up to my own volition. But I'm not going to say anything. No. Why don't you do me the favor mm. and get the fuck off me, mm. comrade? Mm. Fuck you. And the fact that you're even here is just like an anomaly. You're a nuisance. And the fact that you think that we're going to let you just live here in our barracks so easily. It's not going to be that easy. Comrade. <sighs> Little rabbit. I'm not... I'm not 
mad at you. I'm just mad at the situation at hand. Come here. It's all right. I could never be mad at you. Now I am mad at is Victor. I don't trust him, even though he's your brother. I just, I want you to be safe. God knows how long you've been away from him. And it couldn't have been that long, right? What you don't understand, comrade, is the fact that I'm trying to make amends for being a shitty brother. And I haven't been in her life for at least five years. Five years? You've been away from your sister for fucking five years? You could have just gave her a postcard. Wrote her a letter. Send her a gift or something. But to disappear for five fucking years is unforgivable. Bloody hell. I didn't even know he left you alone for that long. I'm sorry I had to go through that, little rabbit. Or should I say, no, t- mm. <laughs> I guess I should have just shut the fuck up, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's been a minute since me and you even got uh, a little intimate, you know. <laughs> Come here. I know it is unforgivable. I cannot bring myself to think of any amends or anything that could bring my sister to at least have a conversation with me. She can't even look at me anymore. Uh, The fact that I'm here is... I don't know what to think. (sighs) I understand where you're coming from, Victor. I wasn't really around that much with my siblings, especially my sister. (laughs) But either way, we all find a common ground somewhere, Victor. And I trust you in some way or another. Don't know how long it'll take, but I'm pretty sure you guys will make amends. I thank you, Gunnick. Perhaps I was a little bit too rough on both of you. The fact that you guys tried to kill me in the past, I guess we can look over that. As long as we can make amends for our sins. And try to look at it as a positive. (laughs) Wouldn't have it any other way. Comrade. (sighs) That was excruciatingly lovely, my dear. I gotta say, I forgot how good you felt. As much as I'd love to just do another round, I think we should probably get back. Hopefully, Cornick and Victor aren't at each other's throats. So, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I'm wearing your underwear. Hmm. Well, comrade. Have a drink. Oh, me. I serve you. I serve you. <laughs> it's very good stuff. <coughs> just to give it a taste. <coughs> already did. So, <clears throat> Oof, Jesus, I don't know how you drink this shit. What? It does have a punging aftertaste, Victor. So, hmm? what did you and the general talk about? Well, we mostly just talked about how we're supposed to get along and, you know, try to be friends. And even though I said that very sarcastically, I believe there is potential between me and you, Kamek. Potential. I think a very uh, bright future, you know? <laughs> a bright future. <laughs> well, if you're talking about the mission, then yeah, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Um, <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh, oh sorry, comrade. It's, uh, it's the, uh, the drink. It's, it sometimes makes me feel a little... Loose, you know? But, <clears throat> anyway, I, uh, hmm, what? What is it? The ghost and my sister have been gone for a quite a long time. I'm a little bit curious. As curious as you were just rubbing me. <laughs> Very peculiar, but, yeah, I guess we should go check on them. All right, so, <clears throat> we get back in there. 
I just act like everything's normal. For all? <laughs> all right, little rabbit. Let's get inside the room and... Uh, oh. Boy. Victor. Koenig. So, how was your guys' conversation? We were actually about to ask you the same damn thing. What the hell did you guys talk about? Well, there was more than just talking, man. <laughs> you know me. Really, ghost? Really? I'm right fucking here. Wait, wait. Forget that. Anyway, sister. I hope you can forgive me for the last five years of not being a part of your life. And if you do not wish to talk to me anymore, I understand. <laughs> well, that was very fast. <laughs> I missed your hug, sister. <laughs> very warm as ever. Uh, anyway, we should probably get going and start the next mission. Yeah, we should probably get going. What yeah. is this? Oh, Victor, mm -hmm. what the, what what the fuck are you doing? Oi. What, what the fuck are you going in my trousers for? Well, not that it is any of my business, but it looks like you have a tramp stamp back there. And I believe you are wearing women's underwear. Oh, oh my, my god, god ghost. ghost. What the fuck, man? What? It's not my fault. Women's underwear is a little bit more comfy than boxers. Don't judge me. It's my fucking lifestyle. If that's your shit, that's your shit. But it's not my sister's underwear you should be wearing. Also, your tattoo looks a little bit infected. Yeah, man, you should really get that shit checked out. It's kind of... Oof. Not good. Ah, come on, man. It's not that... Oh, shit. Well, if no one else is going to see it, I will. Ah, oh, bollocks. Really, Victor? Really? All right. <sighs> Let's pick him up. You get his legs, I'll get his arms. Wait, I think he's trying to say something even though he's a little bit passed out. Wait. God damn it, ghost. <sighs>